everyone so today i'm going to be talking about how to create 3d models on after effects we are going to be using the plugin element 3d so if you're not already familiar with that then i recommend you to watch my basics to element 3d video if you follow my instagram then you know that my style is pretty much just all 3d objects and 3d environments and if you look in the caption you'll see that i make every single one of my 3d objects and today I'll be sharing some ways that I create those 3D models. So when making your own 3D models, you really have to be creative in figuring out how you're going to make certain shapes and combine them to create one big object. I can't just make one big rule book of how to create this shape and that, but I'm hoping that with this video, when you see my process, you'll get some inspiration and ideas on how to create your own shapes as well. There's two ways that I make 3D shapes, extrusion models and the basic element 3D shapes. Today I'll be showing you how to create a 3D rocket ship, but before that I just want to show how you can take the basic shapes from element 3D and alter some settings to create even more shapes out of them. So let's just start by creating a solid layer and adding element to it, then go to scene setup. So let's just look at some settings that we can change to alter these shapes. So if I create a cube here, these are the settings that you can change to alter the shape. But other than just making it wider or like shorter or something like that, you also have these chamfer chamfer settings. And these just basically the higher the chamfer, um, the curvier it is and the more chamfer settings the like smoother it is so if i turn it all the way down to zero you can see it's very sharp obviously but if i increase the chamfer segments it becomes more round another way that you can alter these shapes is by going to these arrows and click this lock where the scale is and this way you can adjust like the like the height of it without adjusting like the thickness of it if that makes sense so like you're adjusting only individual values whereas if you had this lock on it would change it as a whole if that makes sense with the sphere there's not that many settings to it but you can still make some pretty cool shapes so if i turn down the segments here it's going to become sharper and if i click no smoothing it creates this kind of jewel type of shape i guess you could say diameter that's just going to increase or decrease the size and again with the scale i can just unlock this and change individual values so you know just make more shapes out of this as for the cylinder height just makes it taller or shorter radius just makes it wider or thinner but you still have like the chamfer and chamfer segments thing and again you can make it more round and you can make it sharper you can play with these chamfer settings just really play around with these settings see what type of shapes you can create and keep those shapes in mind for when you want to create a 3d model for the tube again we have height and radius and then internal radius is going to make this little circle bigger or smaller not much that you can really do with this the cone again not much that you can really do with this again you have height and radius the sides um you can decrease this to create more of a pyramid rather than a cone and again if i click no smoothing it's you know a lot sharper but yeah other than that not much that you can really do with the cone with the Taurus model, you can actually create a lot of cool things with this. So just looking at how these different radius settings changes it. These ring segments, if you turn it down, you can see it's becoming less of a circle and becoming sharper, pointier, I guess you could say. You could also decrease the sides and that's also going to make it sharper. And then the twist, you can increase that and you can really make some cool shapes with this. If you really just like play around with these settings, you can make a lot of cool things with this Taurus. This plane model, honestly, I never use this just because it's so thin and like honestly useless to me. The capsule is another thing that you can make a few different types of shapes with this. So again, height and radius don't need to explain that. Cap roundness, it doesn't seem like it does much, but if I turn down the radius and make it skinnier, it creates this kind of shape. Again, we can go to the scale and unlock this to create even more shapes. This is how I created a 3D computer mouse for my recent edit. So those are all of the basic element 3D shapes. Now let's actually create the rocket ship. So we're going to start out with a Taurus model and i'm gonna turn the ring radius to all the way down now we're gonna go to scale and unlock this and increase the y value to about 400 to 500 just make it like tall and have this kind of shape next we're going to add the cone shape 
and I'm just gonna drag it up so we can actually see it. So this is just gonna be like the top of our rocket. I'm going to increase the size so that it like fits the shape of course. Next we're going to create the little like ends of the rocket and to do that we're gonna close out of element for a second and I'm just gonna create a solid layer. Then I'm gonna press G on my keyboard to get the pen tool and I'm just gonna mask out a triangle here. It doesn't have to be perfect so just, just try your best. Now I'm gonna click the eye so we can hide it and then go back to our element layer and then go to custom layers, custom text and mask, and then link the like the solid layer that we just created. Now let's go back into element and I'm gonna create an extrude model and now we have the little triangle that we just made. So I'm just gonna drag this down and I'm also going to decrease the size a bit. Now press this little arrow and click bevel one and here we can make it thicker and i'm also going to increase the bevel size to make it a little curvier and also press bevel back side now i'm going to press command d to duplicate it and then go to this middle orientation value and change it to 90. now we're going to create the little rockets on the end so first i'm just going to create a group folder for this and i'm going to drag it above so that we can just focus on this for now now I'm going to select my Taurus model and my Cone model and I'm pressing Shift so I can select both at the same time and then press Command D and then drag the duplicates up to the new group folder. And I'm going to just decrease the size here. This next thing is honestly optional, it's really just a minor detail but the bottom here isn't closed up so I'm just going to create a capsule model and just drag that down and i'm just going to increase the radius and increase the cap roundness to just close off the little rocket here now we can drag this group folder back into the main one and then just move it forward and move it down so that it can connect to the edge of the triangle like this now i'm going to duplicate this group folder and here where it says position xyz i'm just going to go to this last value the z value and i'm just going to erase the negative sign if yours doesn't have a negative sign then add a negative sign so here you can see it automatically um dragged the duplicate onto the opposite end of the little triangles now i'm going to duplicate this folder again this time we're going to make the z value zero so if we look at the other rockets, you can see that the Z value is 1.96 and negative 1.96. So what I'm going to do is make the X value 1.96 and you can see it automatically drags it to the end of the triangle. Duplicate this one last time and make the X value negative. Lastly, to finish off the rocket, I'm just going to add a little cap kind of thing at the bottom. So make sure to click back onto the main group folder and then just add a Taurus model. And I'm just gonna drag that down here and I'm just gonna decrease the size if you press Z it'll automatically like zoom into the object that you've currently selected and I just find that it helps when you're adjusting things like this and then to go back to the main view just click back to your group folder and press Z again lastly I'm just gonna add some color to my rocket so you can customize this however you want I'm just going to use the like the presets that come with element 3d for the body here which is this Taurus model I'm just gonna drag metal diffused as for the rest I'm just gonna drag gold to all of these but obviously you don't want to spend a lot of time just dragging this one by one so what you can do is click on the first model and then hold shift and select the other models this way you'll be able to select multiple items at once then you can just drag this to one of them and it'll apply to everything and there's your little rocket ship thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed please like and subscribe and follow my instagram at virgoyunes link in the description thanks for watching and goodbye